welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. Still by myself, I'm still in isolation, but hopefully if you're lucky, you're gonna get a little insight from a number of the agents at Bookends today. So we talk a lot about MSWL. It's usually got a hashtag. For those who don't know what that is, that's the number sign. M, as in Mary, S, as in Sam, W, as in wish, and L, as in list. Manuscript Wish List, MSWL. You can find that hashtag floating around Twitter a lot. And if you're not on Twitter, you can actually go to the Manuscript Wish List website where some very kind people collect the tweets that everybody puts out there so that they're searchable. So if you're writing historical fiction, you search for historical fiction, all those agents who do historical fiction will pop up. So what we're going to do today at Bookends is we're going to tell you a little bit about our own personal manuscript wish list, just for fun. So I'm Jessica Faust. I'm president of Bookends, and I have a manuscript wish list. The genres I represent, mystery, suspense, thriller, women's fiction, upmarket and literary fiction, as well as some speculative fiction. Those are the genres I represent. My wish list, however, gets very specific. So I'm looking for a book set. I want a wilderness book. I want a wilderness survival book. It can be in any of those genres. It could be speculative fiction. It could be women's fiction. It could be a thriller. It could be suspense. It could be a mystery. Whatever it is, I would love a story set in the wild somewhere, whether it's Alaska, whether it's the mountains. For some reason, I always envision it sort of in a mountainy, wintry, potentially cold place. But surprise me, because who's to say, well, I wouldn't love a great jungle setting for a wilderness survival book. Plane crashes. Planes. I've always been fascinated by plane crash, plane stories, that kind of thing. Any of those genres set around an airline, an airport, travel, something would be great. I mean, I think The Woman in Cabin 10 was such a great idea. A book where you're stuck in a on a cruise ship. That is such a concept. That's the kind of book I'd love to see. So I wouldn't mind Another Woman in Cabin 10, but maybe it's not a suspense or a thriller. Maybe it's women's fiction. Maybe it's speculative fiction. Surprise me. Something like that would be great. As a reader, I'm attracted to food stories. Chefs, cooks, whether it's romance, although I'm not doing a lot of romance these days. It could be romance. It could be um, a mystery. It could be any of those things, but I always love anything set around food. I love to cook. I love food. I also love food, magical realism. I've done some of that with Heather Weber's um, Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe. I have that right here. Let me show you. Food, pie, delicious. So that's a short brief on my wish list. If you go to our Bookends website, bookendsliterary.com, you'll get more insight into the kind of genres we all represent and our personal wish lists. You can search the blog for them. They're also on the submissions page. And if you go to manuscriptwishlist.com or search for us on Twitter, you'll find lots of details there too. Stay tuned, someone else is coming to tell you about theirs. Hi everybody. Now more than ever, I want to read things that make me laugh. So uh, rom-coms or light women's fiction would be great. Uh, the market's pretty competitive right now, so it would have to have a unique hook or a different kind of setting. I've mentioned on Twitter that I love the movie Leap Year, so if there was a fish out of water story or a grumpy traveling companion, I'd love to see something like that. Also, quirky, dark humor in women's fiction would be great. I um, just listened to You by Carolyn Kepnes on uh, audiobook, and that's not women's fiction, it's about a serial killer, but um, I just really loved the narrator's uh, observations of other people. Um, very judgy, but fun. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to read something like that from uh, like a PTO mom's point of view or something of that sort. Also, I was um, lucky enough to get an advanced reading copy of Rachel Harrison's The Return, which comes out next week, and I highly recommend. Uh, it's a cross between horror and women's fiction, and it has all the elements of both that I love, but when it's brought together, it just felt really fresh and new. So I'd love to see something like that as well. In YA, I'm also really looking for rom-com and something light, 
But um, aside from that, I'm also always looking for diverse characters and own voices. And for any kind of genre, I'm always still wanting to bring more um, special needs voices, neurodiverse. Uh, my favorite author is Cammie McGovern, and I recently read her new release, Just Breathe. That's about, uh, it's a romance between a boy with cystic fibrosis and a girl that suffers from chronic depression. And um, I would just love to uh, represent more books like that. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and not too bored. If you get bored, write and send us what you got. Thanks. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my temporary office digs. Um, today we're doing an MSWL video, so I'm excited to tell you what I'm looking for because we could all use some really good books to escape into right now. At the top of my list is one of those sprawling adult family saga novels, something along the lines of Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng or um, Homegoing by Yagiyasi, something with really great writing that hooks me in at the first page and carries me through all the way to the end. On the kidlit side, I'm also looking for something really fun in the science nonfiction realm. Not a biography, but something that uh, introduces kids to new topics in science and really explores them in a fun and exciting, sometimes funny, way. So if you have anything like that, please do send it over to me. I'm actively reading all of my submissions. Um, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and is finding lots of time to write. Hi, Jessica Alvarez here with my MSWL. Romance is the bread and butter of my list and I'd love to find more. Whether it's historical romance, inspirational, contemporary romance, rom-coms, the sky's the limit. I'd especially love to find more diverse romances, but everything goes. Um, I'm also looking for suspense of all types, whether it's psychological, mystery, thriller. Please send those to me. Um, upmarket fiction, book club fiction, women's fiction. All of it please um, my tastes do run towards the commercial so nothing super literary but upmarket and commercials perfect nonfiction I'd love true crime pop science and cookbooks always thanks so much looking forward to hearing from you hi I'm Naomi Davis with bookends on my manuscript wish list what I'm dying to see right now in my inbox is a big explosive space opera I want to be taken across worlds, across different galaxies, universes, anything. In science fiction, I always prefer character development over tech. Um, so I really want to see a character who is either running from something or running towards something and then all the complex emotions and passions that follow that. I'd like to see characters exposed to um, you know, new species, new types of government, new societies and ways of living that really challenge what they expect as normal um, and all the delicate juggling they have to do with their responsibilities and how they align with those changes. Um, I also don't mind being taken across different periods of time, but I'm not one for really episodic science fiction. I, I like my story to flow from start to finish and give me a really climactic standalone ending um, that leaves the door open for development into series. I'm, I'm a big fan of sci-fi trilogies, so if that's what you've got, please send it my way. With my biggest manuscript wish list, Graphic novels. Um, I really want something like Lillian Thief. Super adorable, super fantasy, super escapism for me. Um, they're big and I'm really picky about the art in graphic novels because they are an art piece to me. Um, also, really need fluffy contemporary right nows because global pandemic, don't you know? Um, don't date Rosa Santos. I have Cuban Girl, which is like the squad to this book, but I really need books like this that are in my way that are contemporary, that are escapism, but with gravitas. It's totally my brand. And then Wilder Girls. Um, I love my fantasy, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, elegant horror, totally up my alley. Um, that's what I need right now, people. Hi, I'm Tracy Martini, and what I would love to see in my inbox right now is innovative author-illustrator projects, uh, graphic novelists, um, whether you're an author or a, an illustrator or both, um, more innovative non-biography, non-fiction uh, for the trade market, uh, and this will be across the spectrum from PB to YA. Uh, I'd love to see more fun chapter books. And in middle grade in YA, I'm really looking for stories of hope right now. I want 
something heartwarming, something with some humor, something that uh, kids will want to read two years from now. Um, I hope everybody is well in this time, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.